Hello, Stamping Friends. It's Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and I'm coming to you today from Florida. This is my day four kickoff celebration for our new January to April mini catalog and celebration. I'm so excited to share a fun fold with you today, and I'm going to be using, if I don't drop it, I'm going to be using, um, okay, we'll turn it around. I'm going to be using uh, a celebration item, Softly Sophisticated. Uh, this comes with uh, an embossing folder, and we're going to be using that also, and several things out of the mini catalog today. I know I've concentrated quite a bit the last three days from items from the celebration, but I want to talk about the mini catalog also. I hope you'll leave me a comment. I love reading your comments. And before I turn the camera down, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click that subscribe button. I appreciate that. And give me a thumbs up. It helps to uh, helps YouTube to send my video out to others. And I hope that I will inspire you today for some crafting on your own. And I also have an ordering special going on right now during um, my four day kickoff, plus I give you a few days to also put your order in. So now through Monday, January 15th, place any size order with me. You must use the host code, which is in the description. And there's a, a link and the host code is in the description. But place any size order with me and I will send you a tutorial bundle. And the tutorial bundle is going to have all the projects that I made on camera during these four days of my kickoff celebration, plus tutorials from two other demonstrators that I work with and we're called the Online Global Crafters, Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie and Sarah Boland from Handmade After Dark. You will also receive their tutorials from their kickoff celebration too. So um, there's information in, in the description. Before I turn the camera down, and I really am going to turn the camera down in just a second, I wanted to invite everyone to our fifth online global retreat. That's going to be in February 9th and 10th. And I'm so excited about this. We're going to have two options for the full retreat and then an online access pass only. And you can read all about the details in the description. And I am working with Sarah Bolin, Connie Douglas, and Louise Daniels from the United Kingdom. All right, let's turn the camera down and start stamping. Okay, here is my host code if you want to jot that down. And I want to share a little bit from our celebration and our mini catalog because this is a kickoff celebration of both the celebration and the mini catalog. And I've gone into detail in some of the other videos in the last three days, but just really quick, for every $50 order that you place, you can receive a celebration item. And of course, a celebration item is free. So that's why I say this is the best time of the year. And if you have been thinking about becoming a member of, of Stampin' Up!, this is a perfect time during celebration. In the celebration, almost to the last page, on page 17, there's two options during the celebration. <clears throat> it's a perfect time to join. You Option one, you can choose this glass map, which is free, along with choosing $125 worth of product, and you pay $99 in free shipping. And then the option two, instead of the glass map, you would choose an additional $30 in free products. So that's $155 of free product that you can choose from the mini and or the annual. You can combine them and pay $99 and it is free shipping. And I would love for you to join the Rustic Barn Stampers. And um, please reach out to me and you can email me at Rustic Barn Cards at gmail.com and I'd love to have a conversation with you. 
All right, well, as I said, that we're going to be using a stamp set from the celebration. And now this stamp set is a level two, and, which, and what that means is it is free, but you need to have a little bit higher. You need to have a $100 purchase. So the $100 purchase, you could choose the Softly Sophisticated, and it also comes with an embossing folder. So that's one item that you could uh, could choose. There are some other items uh, that's for a hundred dollar purchase. And the dies, the Jungle Pal dies, is also free with a hundred dollar purchase. And then we have lots of items that are free with a fifty dollar purchase. And so how that works is if you let's say you purchased a hundred dollar order, you could choose two fifty dollar free items or you could choose one of the the $100 but today we're going to be using the softly sophisticated and yesterday on day three I did use the sentiments from this stamp set for our cards and I will share those cards from yesterday with you in just a little bit and then we'll start on today's cards and this is our mini catalog, January through April. If you do not have catalogs, please reach out to me, and I would be glad to send you a catalog and earn your business. So on page 15, um, we are going to be using the designer series paper, and I'll show you that in a little bit more detail. This is called Forever Love, but I think you're going to find when you actually see the paper, it's, it's so gorgeous, but... I don't think the photo does, you know, is as gorgeous as it is in person, if that makes sense. Now, this is a specialty designer series paper, and that's because it does include gold foil on, on the front of all the papers. And then the back is also patterned, but not with the uh, gold foil. And then I'm going to be using uh, embellishments, and I've used them off and on during the celebration and that is on page 33 this comes this is with a lighter than air suite but today we're just going to be using these embellishments and I I love these embellish, embellishments because these um, rainbow adhesive back dots there's 160 pieces and there's eight different colors all right, and I think that covers. Now, let me move this out of the way. And let me bring in the beautiful designer series paper. This is called Forever Love, and I'm going to show you the size that has the gold foil. And the colors in this are Moody Mauve, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Very Vanilla. Felt like I had two sheets there. So, isn't that beautiful? You have one of leaves, you have flowers. And then, if I turn these over on the back, then the, the back side not as busy and there's no gold foil on the back but you have some leaves some stripes some petal pink and moody mauve flowers and then a little bit more simpler pattern with a pretty peacock I want to come back to our mini catalog because this is the paper that I just showed you that we're going to use but we're also going to be using the pretty peacock um, ribbon so this is pretty peacock and gold so there's metallic ribbon and there's little gold that's speckled in there and <clears throat> these gems are also lovely they're petal pink and pretty peacock uh, we could use those today but we're going to be using the other adhesive back that i showed you but let me show you this ribbon before we get started because it is gorgeous so it's pretty peacock and it has specks of gold in there and it makes 
and makes a bow really easy. So it's nice and soft. So I really, really think this is so pretty. All right, let me lay that aside and let's go ahead and get started. Um, I think today I'm going to actually show you, I have two cards today, but I'm going to show you the card uh, that we're going to make, the sample card, it's a fun fold. So I'm going to show that to you so you have an idea of what the card's going to look like. So this is our card today that we're going to make and then it just opens up. And then this little flower, we just tuck that piece in right there. Now, it's very elegant looking, but it is not difficult. So let me show you how to make this. I brought in the trimmer and I have a piece of Calypso Coral. And this is 11 inches by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to put it in our trimmer with the long side at the top, and I'm going to score this at five and a half. And of course, we have two scoring blades. The dark one is our cutting blade, so I want to make sure that's out of the way. And then the lighter color is our scoring blade. So I'm going to score this. I'm going to need the trimmer in just a second. I'm going to set it aside. And then I'm going to go ahead and fold our card base. Bring in our folder there to crease that. Then I'm going to bring the trimmer back in because I want to trim off one end. So I'm going to trim off a half of an inch on one end and it really doesn't matter which which end that you do but I'm just going to slide it in right here and we are going to trim off a half of an inch so now I want my lighter blade I knew that didn't look right so I looked at my direction so excuse me we want to trim off one and a half inches so one and a half inches so, so not a half but one and a half there we go now you could save this and use it for something else and then this is our card base like this so we started with 11 by four and a quarter we scored it at five and a half and then we cut off one and a half inches off of one end. Okay, and that's why our card base will be like this. I'm going to be using the deckled rectangle dies and I'm using the next to the largest and I've already die cut in Calypso Coral and then I'm using third from the largest and I've already die cut that out of basic white. And now I'm going to bring that trimmer back one more time because on the Calypso Coral, we are going to score one half of an inch. So we're going to score a half an inch on our deckled rectangle. We're going to put it in this way with the long side on the top. And we're not cutting it off, we're scoring a half an inch. And then I am going to fold this where we scored it. Then I'm going to bring in our card base. And so I want this folded up this way. And I am just going to... And the reason I'm doing this because there's a little bit of an edge there. So now what we're going to do is that we are going to take this, we're going to put adhesive right here, and then I'm going to line that up. I'm going to line it up right here, so I have about the same amount of space on the left as I do on the right. So, looks like that. 
and then it will look like this when you open it okay so I'm going to put adhesive on this back piece right here on this piece right here get my head in there on the camera so and I want you to see also so I'm looking to see that I have about this same amount of space on the left as I do on the right and I want this even at the top I think that's about as good so then I can all right so see the folds down like this So you can see that seam right there. So we want to cover that up, right? So I am going to bring in a piece of Pretty Peacock. And I have embossed this with the embossing folder that comes with our Softly Sophisticated. It is called Softly Sophisticated 3D Embossing Folder. And... It looks like this. It is really, really pretty. What I like about it is that it gives really nice impressions. And there's like little ridges here. Or you can use the back side, the, you know, the negative side. So we're going to put this piece right, right here. And that will cover up our seam. So we'll add some adhesive. And again, you get the, all the measurements for this card and all the cards that I have um, done on camera this week by placing any size order now through the end of Monday, January 15th. And I will send you the tutorials plus extra ones. All right, let's do a little stamping. I'm going to set this aside and we're going to bring in our basic white. And this is that deckled. I die cut this out with the deckled rectangles and it's a third from the largest. I'm going to be using Calypso Coral ink. And I'm going to be using the flower image. And we're going to go ahead and ink this up. And then I am going to go ahead and stamp off. And then stamp on in the corner of our basic white layer. And then we'll bring back our card base and we're going to adhere that right inside like this now the tip is that you want to make sure that you add this piece first um, and then add your basic white layer that like I'm doing next otherwise this will cover up part of this and you want to have room for people to do the writing and of course you want to make sure that it's it is it's within this width here so when you close this you don't have anything showing here or here and then i'm going to try to line that up as straight as i can all right um let's go ahead and do some more stamping i'm going to bring in a uh, basic white circle And I have used the 2 and 3 eighths punch, which actually is in the annual catalog. And it coordinates with circle sayings. But you can purchase just the circle punch if you want. And I've already cut that out. And so we are going to stamp using Calypso Coral and Pretty Peacock. We're going to start with Calypso Coral. And I'm going to go ahead and ink up our flower again. And I'm going to do this full strength this time. So I'm going to go ahead and place that just up a little, a little bit right like that. Then we're going to add some leaves. Now the tip on this is to 
stamp your flowers first. I find that is the easiest. If you stamp your flowers first before you before you add the leaves. And this is the uh, the leaves that we're going to use. And it is, of course, from the Softly Sophisticated stamp set, which you can get free by placing an order, qualifying order now through the end of February, which is the end of celebration, is the end of February. Now I have inked this up, but I'm going to do second generation, so I'm going to stamp off on my paper here because I want a lighter image and then this cir this circle here in my stamp is I'm going to place that over the larger flower and I'm going to tilt it a little bit because I'm, I'm watching this right here and I want it to come kind of like at the end of this little um, V I guess you could say it okay so Let's see how we do. There we go. I'm happy with that. So I'll close this ink up right now and lay that aside. And then let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. This is a basic white and going to give you the measurements for that but one by three and a quarter so our sentiment is one and three and a quarter and we're going to use you're in my thoughts and let's go ahead and stamp that in pretty peacock Now, I'm going to stamp a little bit more towards the top than I am the bottom. So I want to get this kind of in the middle, but as close as I can to the top. All right, I think that will work. And I'll show you why that I wanted to place it more towards the top than in the, uh, well, plus you have that loop of the thoughts. I could have brought it down just a little bit, but not a lot. But we're going to have a, a little flower underneath there that we're going to tuck that in. All right, let's lay this aside and let's go ahead and bring our card base back. And I'm going to bring in um, a piece of our Forever Love Designer Series paper that I showed you earlier. And we are going to attach this to our card base. All right, isn't that beautiful? that gold foil of course this is moody mauve and the petal pink on the back side is really pretty too so decision decisions when you use designer series paper I think this beautiful paper just kind of sets this card off and we are going to place this right here but before we do I'm go we're going to make some flowers I'm going to bring in a scrap of pretty peacock and I'm going to be bringing in this is our petal park builder I do not need the leaf but I'm going to use all three of these flowers the petal park builder is in our annual catalog so for this card I've used items from the annual celebration and the new mini catalog but what i'm going to do here is this i'm just going to kind of scrunch the large flower up just like that i'm going to do the same with the medium flower you have a large medium and a small flower and the same with I'm going to 
open that up. Then I'm going to grab some glue dots and my take your pick tool. And I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to put it at the bottom of the medium flower and then I'm going to add it inside I think that glue dot decided to stick in my finger okay then I'm going to put that on the inside of the large flower Then I'm going to take another glue dot Put it right there on the bottom of the smaller flower and put this inside of the medium flower. All right, so now we're going to bring this back, bring our card base back in, and we're going to place our, we're going to pop up our flowers on our basic white circle. Then we are going to add our sentiment and so we're going to go ahead and do that right now so I've added three dimensionals to the sentiment piece and our flowers so we're going to go ahead and add this first we're just going to place that at the top and then we're going to place this um, I want to leave a little room here so I don't want to I don't want to bring the sentiment piece all the way down to the end I'm going to leave some calypso coral showing so with that flower there you're going to be able to see this be able to read the sentiment okay and then I'm going to take a Dimensional, I'm going to turn the flowers over. We're going to put a dimensional right here on the back of that largest one. And then this is what's going to keep our card down, our fun fold down. So I want to make sure that this dimensional is, is on the designer series paper. So this flap will raise and lower. Okay. So I'm going to kind of tilt that so I can kind of see because I want it fairly close I want it fairly close so you can just raise it up and then you can tuck it right down there so that should work so I'm going to press on that and then we're going to bring in our pretty peacock ribbon and I started to make a bow earlier, so let's go ahead and see if we can get that. Sometimes the longer you work with a ribbon, or with your bows, the prettier they, they become, right? Okay. All right, and then we're going to add this right here and I think well let's go and add it then if I need to trim anything I can do that and I'm going to again bring in my glue dots and for bows I like to add two uh, glue dots I just think that makes it a little bit more secure make sure they're not on my fingers so I'm gonna I'm putting that right between our basic white circle and you're in my thoughts now we can take if we're worried that this is going to come down over our sentiment let me show you a little trick for that we'll take another glue dot and then put that just like we want And then we can, and then I think we're going to do a little bit of trimming. And then I need to do just a little bit right here. 
think I need to get another pair of sharper scissors out. These snips are great, but if you use them with paper, then they get dull, right? So I, I have one for ribbon and one for paper, but sometimes I get them mixed up. All right, let's go ahead and bring in our embellishments. And again, we're going to bring in the rainbow adhesive back dots. And I don't know if you can hear or not, but it is just pouring down rain outside. But I will take the rain over the snow. So for those of you that have snow, I'm not going to complain about the rain, right? All right, let's go ahead. And we're going to use, um, I think we're going to use petal pink. So I'm going to go ahead and you have small and large. And I'm going to go ahead and use the larger one right like that and here is our card so what do you think you like the card i hope you do i have another one to show you so just give me just a second you're in my thoughts it just slides right up and so it slides right up and then you can just tuck it right in under that flower to keep it closed now let me show you the second card and this, I've used petal pink for my card base on this card. And I used Moody Mauve and petal pink ink. And I used Moody, Ma Moody Mauve ribbon. And instead of using designer series paper down below, like I did over here, I used a Moody Mauve cardstock and then used the embossing folder softly sophisticated which comes with the softly sophisticated stamp set as a free celebration and what i like about this is um, the texture so um if you remember on this card i use the side where you can feel the uh, the ridges but on this card i use the negative side so it is smooth so i use the moody mauve stamp the flowers and then here I used designer series paper which was the back side of what I used on the card that we made first and then I added hello there for the sentiment and uh, made the flowers out of moody mauve cardstock all right I hope that you like the cards today please uh, leave a comment and let me know which card that you liked the best I'd appreciate that and I am going to be doing a drawing uh, for those of you that leave a comment and I will be sending out some of the cards that I made this week for a prize. I appreciate you being here and watching. This is day four of my four day kickoff celebration of our new mini catalog and celebration brochure. If you haven't watched the other videos, you can go watch, you can go back and watch those. And again, don't forget about my ordering special through Monday, January 15th, any size order, and I will send you a tutorial bundle. I am Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards, and I'm normally here on Tuesday each week at 1 p.m. Take care. I'll see you soon. And bye for now.